All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another video. Today, my name is Chris, and today we're going to be going over a new article that gives us a final and firm date on when the uh, luxury wing at American Dream Meadowlands, which is a shopping and entertainment complex located in East Rutherford, New Jersey, uh, will be opening. And this article basically gives us uh, some insight uh, to when that is going to happen, because right now at American Dream, you can only access everything up to here that includes... Uh, the the aquarium, Legoland, um, the DreamWorks Water Park, Nickelodeon Universe, It's Sugar, and the Food Court, and a bunch of other stores to name, uh, name a few. But anyways, so our focus today in this video in particular is going to focus on the luxury wing, which is located on the north end of the mall, uh, which is right about here, basically. Uh, this is basically the luxury wing. It's all the way, because this is all different stores, and it's right here that we're going to be focusing on today. So... Anyways, let's get to it. Uh, so this is the article from Forbes, American Dream uh, Luxury Wing finally has an opening date. So here we go. Uh, the long-delayed luxury wing at American Dream Shopping and Entertainment Mega Mall in the New Jersey Meadowlands, which is in East Rutherford, New Jersey, now has a definite opening of Friday, September 17th, 2021. The luxury wing named, named the Avenue, they must have gotten that idea from Saks Fifth Avenue, by American Dream's developer Triple Five will be anchored by Saks Fifth Avenue, some, other, some, some 20 other retailers, along with an upscale restaurant, Carpa Piccio, and Brett, a champagne bar, are also scheduled to open that day, according to American Dream. The mall, however, is still working to fill empty spaces in the wing caused by bankruptcies and a marquee of tenants that dropped out during the years while the project was under construction. Uh, Century 21 is definitely, is definitely one to name. The luxury wing, once touted as a core element of the mall's mix, has been be, uh, beasted by bankruptcies of some of its promised tenants and delays caused by both difficulties in getting tenants to commit, construction issues, and of course, the pandemic. The luxury ring was originally scheduled to open in March of 2020. That opening was delayed to March 2021 and then postponed until fall 2021. Saks, which according to Saks Insiders, had been ready to open in time for the original date, opted to wait until it had more retail company in the wing and for pandemic restrictions to ease. American Dream had intended Saks to be one of four luxury flagship stores along with a Lord & Taylor store, Barney's, and an FAO Schwartz store that would replace the iconic New York City store as a global tourist attraction. FAO Schwartz was derailed by bankruptcy of its parent company, Toys R Us. Lord & Taylor's bankruptcy left it an online-only retailer. We could blame the wonderful leadership of Hudson's Bay, but we all know that they're opening up Saks now, same company that's doing it, and Barney's New York closed its stores in early 2020. In a press release, American Dream had said Saks will be joined in the luxury room by Hermes, St. Laurent, Tiffany & Company, Dos, Gabbana, Murray, and other stores. Ken Downing, chief executive officer of Triple Five, told WWD that more than 20 stores will be ready to open by September 17th along with Saks. The 30,000 square foot wing is 70% leased, American Dream told WWD. The Avenue, Downing said, is designed to resemble a boutique hotel with a salon-style seating arranged scattered in common areas in the front of the store. Saks, seven years ago, decided to bet big on American Dream by opting to close its stores at, at, in, the, in two luxury malls in New Jersey, the mall at Short Hills in Short Hills, Milburn, New Jersey, and the shops Riverside in Hackensack, New Jersey, and committing to making American Dream its only location within the state of New Jersey. We are excited to bring our reimagined luxury experience to American Dream with a selection of prestigious brands and offerings unseen anywhere else in the state, Don Guardian, president of American Dream, said in a statement. The Avenue to American Dream builds on on our premier offerings, reinforcing American Dream's position as a top entertainment and retail destination, he said. The luxury ring originally was touted by American Dream as a way to draw global tourists to the complex. With the pandemic limiting international travel, currently most of the mall's visitors are coming from Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Downing told WWD. Gersman who is now boasting a selection of prestigious brands and offerings unseen anywhere else in the state, previously promised the luxury wing would be a collection of stores unlike anything in the world. The pandemic and other headwinds American Dream had faced apparently have caused him to set bigger, set his sights a bit closer to home. So, um, what are my thoughts on this article? It's a good article. The, the Joan did a, uh, Verdon, who was the writer uh, at Forbes, uh, did a decent job of putting this article together. Um, it basically just, you know, it's, it's what the luxury wing is going to be. I mean, you can't really, 
you know, add or subtract it. Um, so this is what the current um, mall map looks like right now. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's not the current one. Okay, this is the current mall map right now. So right now, currently in American Dream, we have the Parks Court, which is which comprises of It's Sugar, the DreamWorks Water Park, and Nickelodeon Universe. That's the Parks Court. We have the Merlin Court and Court A, which comprises of the Mini Golf and the uh, Mirror Maze, along with Sea Life and Legoland, which have both opened. Some rideshare things, which is Lyft and Uber. Um, and of course, Big Snow. We can't we uh, can't forget about Big Snow. So this is currently this is like the entertainment district, and that's the bridge that actually goes over the street. Um, believe it or not, um, this is the Parks Court. Uh, that's the mini golf, and then this is the uh, Lego Land and the Sea Life and all that other stuff. Uh, this is the Garden Court of Court C, uh, and then Court D, which Court D is ultimately going to lead to a more luxury wing. This is where they cut it off for now, but uh, once that new luxury wing does open, I will see this open up. So Court D, we have a very small portion of right now, um, and but we have most we have all of Court C and Court A, and we also have the Parks Court. So the expansion of that, what that's going to expand on. Um, is right now we have everything of American Dream up to here. Given that the new wing is opening, we will have all this part open, including the Saks Fifth Avenue at the end. There will be no other department stores uh, at the mall. Saks Fifth Avenue will be the only uh, department store at this mall. And this will be the only Hudson Bay-owned department store within the state of New Jersey, as all Lord & Taylors within the state of New Jersey are now completely closed. Hence, by default, uh, this will be the only full-line department store owned by Hudson Bay within the state of New Jersey. Again, that does not include uh, discount uh, department store chains. So, yep, and then that's basically it. Okay, yeah, sorry, I did not mean to zoom in like that. And yeah, I mean, that's, 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 uh, that's, that's basically it. Uh, there's really not much, not much else to say about uh, the avenue at American Dream. So it's opening up Friday, September 17th, 2021. Uh, and it will be the only Saks Fifth Avenue in New Jersey. There's really not much else to say uh, other than that. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, going over the article, which will be located in the video description below, along with the other articles. Um, those will also, or the other things I showed, those will also be uh, in the link that will be located in the video description below. So, anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.